This is an unboxing video for the Samsung Galaxy Ace style. Uh, as you can see, a box has kind of got a nice simple design about it, uh, nothing too complicated. On the side here, you've got all the specifications. So it tells us uh, that it's dual band, uh, that it's quad band, which means it's going to have 3G. Uh, no 4G though on this one. It has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Uh, it has a four inch uh, TFT LCD screen, which is quite a good size, I think, for phone kind of size as well. Um, we've got a 5 megapixel camera with VGA and then we've got kind of Android KitKat uh, and GPS and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So when you open the box, you've got the phone just here. So we'll take that out and we'll look at that in a second. And then we lift this flap up and we've got the kind of instruction booklet. We've got a charger and we've got a USB cable. Um, I think that's it. Yes, there's, so there's no headphones or anything in there. Let's have a closer look at the phone itself. So let's have a look at the phone itself. First impressions, it's got quite a nice design. I like these rounded edges. Um, it's really light to hold actually. If we turn it over, it's got kind of slightly curved edges and then the back is this white plastic casing. Uh, you've got your camera and you've got a speaker. There's no flash on it. Uh, then on the side you've got this button here which is the power button I think and then you've got your volume buttons on the side then you've got your USB port at the bottom and you've got your headphone socket at the top so let's uh, put a SIM card in it and boot it up so the back just comes off with this little tab here and then you've got removable battery You've got slot there for a micro SD card, which is particularly good because the phone's only got four gigabytes of built-in memory, so you're going to need to use that. And then you've got your SIM card slot there. So phone is booted up. First impressions are that the kind of interface is similar to a lot of Samsung's other devices. Um, the touchscreen's not too bad so far. I wonder what it'd be like with kind of a bit more everyday use. Uh, you've got your settings there, and it just looks like a normal Android phone. Uh, but the screen size is actually pretty good um, and I'm really impressed at how light the phone is. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. So check out the review video for this which will be up really soon as well. And we'll dive into the phone a bit more then.